हेलो लो एस्परेंस वो कैबरी इज द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज एंड लैंग्वेज कमांड कैन बी डन बाय वो कैबरी एंड दिस वो कैबरी विल लीड यू टू कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ऑफ द पैसेज एंड कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ऑफ द पैसेज मीन्स गेटिंग द आंसर्स राइट एंड गेटिंग द आंसर्स राइट मीन्स यू आर सिलेक्टेड इन क्लैट यू गेट थ्रू यू जॉइन अ लॉ स्कूल एंड वेन यू जॉइन अ लॉ स्कूल यू बिकम अ लॉयर एंड वेन यू बिकम अ लॉयर योर फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड यू कम आउट टू दिस वर्ल्ड offering your services and earning a lot of money yes this is what actually is the long sequence the correct sequence that i'm talking of how to do the things so keeping this in mind as a goal as a motive that the comprehension the reading and the things improve exist and become wonderful we are doing this word that is the new words for vocabulary the roots are not only interesting you must have not done them and see the best part of this method is the permanent memory that it is stored in because it really happens one of the students said ma'am we cannot forget them like you remember twinkle twinkle little star you remember the roots also forever yes okay let's begin for our roots for today This is an interesting root. The root is am, which is love or friendly. There are some students who may have an idea or an intuition that we've done this root. I do. I did check all the roots and the uh, videos for the earlier sessions of vocabulary that I've taken, but was not there. But uh, I have added on some more words to it. If you feel so, it was just a kind of a. Our functory namesake that we had were just talking of this root. Now I've taken this in detail. The word means Amanda is somebody who is to be loved. This is name in one of the famous. I would also prescribe you one of the reading things uh, for this Amanda. Please note, especially an English play, Glass Menagerie, right? This is by Tennessee Williams. What has Amanda to do with this? There is the mother whose name is Amanda. Right? So her name is Amanda. She who is to be love. That's Amanda. So you know, mother. We had just discussed yesterday only the root. That is, a mother is one who takes care of the child, who loves the child to the utmost, and who is somebody very much concerned about the progress of the child. Amorous. It's a negative word with the root am. That is love and friendly. See, being loving and friendly is very good, but being too much love and friendly is not at all good at any scenario. So when you're too much loving and friendly in the things that we use the word amorous, too much, too many relations, too much of friendly attitude. I want to discuss this word in detail with you. Let's take the synonyms. Okay, the roots first. The root "carn" means flesh. Carnivorous animals, carnal or uh, incarnation, all these carry the root "carn" means flesh. So when we have "carn" as flesh, when we have the word "carnal," you are too many given to flesh or your bodily desires. It's of course a characterless person. Or the word like "lick" is permit, licentious. Charles, the king, when England was ruled by Charles, at that time it was a very licentious society. People had too many illegal relations. Lewd, lecherous, licentious, bawdy, carnal, Don John. This is the name of one of the best books of Samuel uh, Butler. This is uh, Byron's book, in fact. In this, he talks of a person who keeps roaming about. He's a kind of a uh, having too many extramarital affairs, having enjoying life, and uh, you know, in a way, it's of course something wrong because you are uh, permitted or you feel you are given the permission to have too many relations. That's of course a negative word. A person. 
one who is not of good character, loose morals or unethical. The word enamored means fall in love with something, something that fascinates you, something that attracts you, something that pulls you towards it is enamored. A kind of an, and I was enamored with her, was enamored by her uh, knowledge and things, anything that you know pulls you towards, it is alluring. See something that pulls you towards it, so it is alluring, it is enticing, right? It is fascinating, right? And it is enthralling. You feel that magnetic pull towards someone, you are attracted towards a thing, right? See this list of synonyms are very interesting. It is really interesting because you understand what is the basic meaning behind it. Amatri, amateur or from the word amatri is a love relation. This is a legal or illegal as per the relations that it depends on. Amenities, things that people love to have and love to make a place, things that people really want to. You see, there is something which is done vehemently, that is forcefully, and there are some things people do on their own choice, on their own desire and liking for. And that is the same here for the word amenity. Next word. The word is amor. I want to take these three words together, so that is why I listed them together. The word amor is a Spanish word for love. We have English language borrowing words from different languages, the Italian word for love and the French word. You see just a vowel letter difference, the two, three words, this is E missing that and that is the U missing in that. So, it is the French, Spanish, Italian all coming up together in on the same platform meaning something which is related with love. And what about this tell me? Amity. It is a university where you find very friendly atmosphere, homely atmosphere, you do not feel away from home. It is a place where you feel loving. And what about amiable or amicable? The synonyms, there is a slight difference of course, but they are synonyms. It means you are loving, you are friendly, you are social, you are mixing, you are introvert, uh, I am so sorry, I will make it extrovert. Right? <coughs> you mix up with people, you talk to people, you are very convivial. See the root word here, co is together and viv is life, so interesting really. And you are born homey. What is born root dearies and home? Such an interesting word. Born means good and HOM or HOM means human being. So, human being is very good natured, loving, caring is the word. Now, we have in amorita which is a male with who has someone fallen in love with and in amorite is a female with whom someone has fallen in love. Amateur, one who loves to do something but it is not a professional at it. <coughs> Again taking this word in detail. Please note this word very carefully because you will have various synonyms of this word and especially convivial and bonhomi, a good natured person, right. I get aside so that you can note these words very carefully. And then I discuss the word amateur in detail. Amateur, like you are amateurs in the field of law, you have not got the experience yet. So, what do we call these people? They are called greenhorn. See the list of the words that I give you. They are called green by, they are called new broom, inexperienced, Tyro, such nice word because you are just entering into this field. You are a rookie, 
neophyte this root is to be elaborated really elaborated because it's something which is done the first time you are new in this world and what about this one in english is really interesting it's just a interest which follows i can explain you this word in a different scenario see just look at it the word no means not and vice means evil so you don't have any vice you don't have any evil in you you've not become a part of this corrupt world you are still innocent in your primitive in your state of mind which is pristine like a child so you're no vice not experienced to do evil on this earth you are somebody who is away from this world you are amateur also the word sometimes uses apprentice look at this word apprentice you are getting into this field you have not finished your things you are inexperienced you are a fresher you are a learner you are a beginner you are a starter Yes. What does this mean? You are just entering into it step by step. Of course, everybody becomes experienced, knowledgeable, cogent, scintillating, erudite, learned, acumen, brainy, cerebral and wonderful vistas of knowledge opens for you. Yes. So that is why a person who is just entered into this field would be an amateur. And I would say you are somebody's who are another word I would like to add here. you know my memory never fails me why does it happen that my memory never fails me is only because i take interest in these words learn them with a the trick which i also offer you every time see this is the basic root this is the meaning learn it not mug it up nothing will help you if you put your layers in your mind in a form where you would just understand the word comprehend the word but no rote learning rote learning never helps rote and learning creates parrots machines have you seen any machine which can replace human being we have a memory which can be loaded with various number of things even five computers data can be stored in a human memory so why do you feel you cannot do it of course all this is just a child's play for you every synonym you can thoroughly learn i'm giving you this boost up reason it's required because there are students who keep telling me and keep writing to me mom you speak like anything you have so many words offered for it of course that's true but did it happen so quickly you have to just read it twice thrice and things would happen changes there of course so that's what i'm passing you also you feel you cannot remember you feel you'll forget it but offer the food for thought to your mind do you think your mind will forget no it will not forget so it's just your thinking that you will forget it's not actually that you will forget i move on with a new route with uh, tomorrow's class but then i just want to boost you up yes because keep doing keep trying and you will never fall down and if you fall down you would get up again because this is what life teaches us right students thank you do like don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you students